guys welcome back to my channel and in this video I am super excited because I am going to be reviewing and showing you guys the new Becca and Chrissy palette highlighting palette highlight blush and bronzer palette oh my gosh you guys so I'm gonna go grab the packaging again and I'm just gonna show you um, I'm gonna put this back in the packaging so I can show you guys like what it looked like when I got it because like it was beautiful like I was really blown away with the packaging but anyway so I'm going to show you that, kind of explain it, and then I'm going to show you how I applied it, and then my final thoughts. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get to it. So, when you first get it, it comes in this box. Sorry, I put it back in its packaging, and, like, the box is really pretty, and, like, when you open it, it's, like, started with this cardboard, which is super nice, because then you at least know, like, it didn't break in there, and then it is in this very solid case which I really appreciate because I recently dropped my my Anastasia let me just show you I recently dropped my Nicole Guerrero Anastasia palette literally is the saddest thing ever I'm so sad and it didn't even drop that far it like literally just fell out of my lap and now just brace yourselves it's broken <laughs> I'm trying to preserve it I don't know what to do Anyways, I like that this is like really sturdy packaging and then it comes with like this cover over the top, like very fancy and you kind of have this like marbled, rose gold marble going on so it's really, really pretty. And then open it up, you have this gigantic mirror which I don't want to take this off yet because I'm weird like that but this gigantic mirror which is gorgeous and then you have these four colors right here so I'm a, I was a little hesitant with this because I am pretty fair I'm not self tanning right now so I'm a little fair so I was worried that these colors might be a little darker but you'll see and you can see them on right now that they're fine and they applied beautifully so you have this rose gold rose gold highlight right here and that one's called rose gold and then the other highlighter in the palette is this one right here and it's called Beach Nectar. This one is the rose gold and this is the Beach Nectar. So definitely this one has a lot more pink hues. I kind of put it on my forehead and overall and this one is more of a rose gold. But the thing about these, you guys, is that when you put them on with a brush, they aren't like crazy pigmented where you're going to see like this streak. Like, do you see a streak of rose gold? No, because they're just like hints of rose gold. But when you do like huge swatches like this, as you can see, you can see them. But anyways, so then it has this bronzer right here and this blush right here. Now this bronzer, let me swatch that for you. This bronzer does have slight shimmer to it and it is a very warm, warmer bronze, bronzer. It is not the warmest, so it's definitely not orange, but it is more on the warm side. So that is it right there. But I do feel like it has some cool tones to it, which I really like. And the thing about it is it has like a slight shimmer, but not glitter. So it's going to really make your face glow, which I really, really like. So then you have this blush, which this is the one thing in the whole palette that I'm not crazy about. I'm not crazy about heavily pink blushes it's just not me my skin tone I think can't handle it because I'm more fair so this color right here I don't think I'm going to be grabbing for that often so does that one right there so that is the whole palette overall it's like so it is so pretty so I'm going to show you guys how I applied it on my face and you can see you know what exactly I did and then I will talk about it at the end okay let's test this out I did my makeup but I just left the bronzer off I I need to see a little bit. So I left the bronzer off and the highlight and the blush off. So let's see how this works. I'm super excited. So I'm going to take my bronzer brush right here and I'm going to dip it into this bronzing color right here. I'm a little nervous because I am pretty bare. So we'll see how this looks. I did use this a little bit before and not anything like crazy. So... I feel like I have to use a lot to see some color. That's all right. Sometimes that's good so you don't go overboard, you know. I like that it's like a little bit shimmery. So it kind of, it's not like crazy shimmery, but it kind of just makes a really pretty glow. And then the highlight I'm going to go with is this guy right here to start, Rose Gold. So 
a really really pretty highlight it just it's like any Becca highlight it's pretty pigmented but not overly sparkly which I really really like there isn't any sparkle in these highlights which makes these highlights so beautiful and not crazy overwhelming which is something that I really like I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm going to go in with this beach or let me do the blush. I'm going to do the blush. Where's my blush brush? I don't know. So I'm going to dip it into this blush. I'm kind of nervous about this blush. It looks like really harsh. <sighs> oh, I feel like I have a lot on there. Let me go. I'm more of a nude blush kind of person or like um a soft pink so this is kind of this is all right i'm not crazy about the blush i'm gonna then go in with the the beach nectar kind of put that on my forehead okay so now that that's done i just wanted to give you guys my final thoughts on it and if i if you think if i think that it's worth it i think if you have a mid-tone to darker skin i think that this palette would be absolutely beautiful on you like absolutely stunning for me i'm more fair but i still really like the bronzer and the highlights like i said that blush isn't gonna work for me but i do really like the bronzer and the highlights the beach nectar one i don't know how often i'm gonna be reaching for that i think it would really work as a really pretty eyeshadow but I don't know how often I'm going to be reaching to put that all over my face maybe like once I'm really tan it would look really pretty but that rose gold this rose gold highlight in here oh my god I think it is so pretty and Becca highlighters overall are always so gorgeous and they're really pretty so this is that one right there do you want to see it next to champagne pop let's just see the difference should we just see the difference I want to know the difference can you see that that is champagne pop so it's definitely a lot lighter than the Chrissy one so a lot lighter so if you're more fair toned and you're like this is your first highlighter and you don't know what highlighter to get or highlight palette I wouldn't recommend this if you were fair that's the only thing I would go with champagne pop I would go with opal something like moonstone if you're super fair um, if you're gonna go with one of Becca's highlights overall you guys like when I pulled that palette out of its box like I seriously was really impressed like I was like oh this is so beautiful like no offense to like the Nicole Guerrero palette because now I really love the Nicole Guerrero palette and I use it all the time but the packaging is just so much better on this one like oh my god it's just gorgeous just gorgeous yeah I think that covers everything you guys it was this much I don't remember so but I know I think it was like around 46 46 I think 48 but I think this is really worth it like it is a really solid palette and I'm really excited to travel with this so that was it you guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you liked this video this quick little video and mini review of this palette if you were interested in getting it and that's it i will see you guys in my next video bye